this hey, Charlie. Good evening. I'd like to call to order the October 23rd, 2014 regular monthly meeting of the Scarborough Sanitary District. We'll start with roll call. Dave Nelson. Here. Charlie Anderson. Yep. Nick Rico. Here. Ben Viola is absent. Rob McSorley. Present. Seth Garrison. Here. All right. Next order of business, approval of the September 25th, 2014 regular monthly meeting minutes. Move approval, Mr. Chairman. Second. Any errors or omissions? On uh, page number five, is that correct? It says Mr. Anderson asked Mr. Anderson if he had any comments. <laughs> yes, it is. For the board. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was me asking a question of Kerry Anderson, who was oh, at the right. podium. Okay. Uh, Maybe we can clarify that a little bit in the. <coughs> is it spelt differently? It is clarified. It, 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 it should be spelt, spelt differently. differently. Yeah. Anderson. Jeremy and Anderson. 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 You're, you're absolutely yeah. right. Okay. Yep. I did have to read that twice, though. When I didn't, I didn't pick it up. But <laughs> glad you met. Any other errors or omissions? Be noted. None. All in favor of approval? Not opposed. Superintendent Operations Report. Dave? A uh, copy of the monthly report of operations for the month of September is included in your packet. Our average effluent flow for the month was 1.19 million gallons today, per day. Our effluent quality was well within our per, uh, permitted limits. We averaged 97% um, BOD removal and 97% TSS removal. Uh, the average concentration for each of those parameters was 7 milligrams per liter. A copy of the pump station flows for the month of um, September was also included in your packet. Um, and let's see, obviously, uh, there were no issues re um, identified during the, uh, the, uh, the report that was given. On October 10th, um, Bob DeSevero of Glatfell Public Practice, our insurance carrier, uh, visited our facility. The purpose of the visit was to introduce the risk management services available through Glatfelter and to learn about the man our management systems at the Scarborough Sanitary District related to our property, liability, and automobile coverage. The meeting focused on facility operations, risk management strategies, personnel management, and programs designed to support the continuity of the wastewater services we provide. So some of the items discussed, including the overall description of the services uh, that we provide, contractor management and services performed, site security, terrorism control in uh, initiatives, emergency response, crisis management, business con uh, uh, contingencies and disaster recovery, recovery plans, uh, MPDS permit compliance, use of vehicles, driver selections and supervision, accidents reporting, investigation claims management, contractual liability programs, description of any large losses and claims, and risk control services um, that we may like to receive from Glatfell Public Practice. The, um, the meeting actually took the better part of the day, and uh, as part of the meeting, we also conducted a couple inspections, uh, one being at the wastewater treatment facility, another at the uh, pump station at Old Neck Road, and finally the, uh, the pump station on Old County Road. The visit went very well, and he was openly impressed with our facilities. He had a couple of uh, minor suggestions, and he will be following up with a report of his findings. Uh, Wooden Current has been on site making the needed programming changes it is, uh, for the aeration tank actuators. It is anticipated that these actuators will be fully functioning by the end of October. I presented at the, uh, at the uh, Jet Sea training course, low pressure sewer systems, what some towns are doing. The presentation took place at the Portland Water Dis District's uh, Jeff Nixon training room and was uh, attended by approximately 30 participants. Uh, we are currently working on the draft budget for the upcoming uh, November workshop. Copies of it will be provided prior to the workshop for your review. We had two odor complaints this past month, 25 Inspiration Drive, uh, the first being there. On October 1st, I received a call from the developer stating that there was a sewer odor within the house at 25 Inspiration Drive and was asked if I could come take a look. 
Uh, I visited the house with the developer and the homeowner on the second. At the time, I detected very faint odor. Uh, prior to, th to my visit, the developer had recently capped an untrapped plumbing fixture uh, that may have been the source of the odor. They are planning on airing out the house, and if needed, uh, they'll be isolating various fl plumbing fixtures in the house to, to find the source. It, um, it doesn't go away. I also received uh, a complaint from 5 Hurdle Fence Road on October 13th uh, by uh, the homeowner there, Jesse Rich. He called to report a strong sewer within the pump, uh, within the area of pump station 11. Upon inspection, it was determined that the carbon filter at the pump station needed to be replaced, and we replaced it on the 15th. We had the carbon uh, av uh, available, and so we were able to do it very quickly. And finally, just a couple items, uh, one more item. Um, we are doing some painting uh, that was budgeted for this past year at Pump Station 1 and Pump Station 3. We anticipate completing that painting of those stations um, uh, by the end of this week. So that's the end of my report. Thanks, Dave. Questions for the superintendent? Uh, just uh, curious, uh, with the rain yesterday, is um, any follow-up uh, done, or did you look to see how we fared the system in the collection system compared to the last event? Yeah, we we did not see the uh, same type of spike in flows that we received during uh, that six-inch rain event. Uh, this rain event very different in characteristics um, in that it's been a long-duration event and hasn't been... Uh, we haven't seen a lot of flooding of manholes. Consequently, we haven't seen a lot of increase in flows. Uh, the guys have been out actually um, doing some II investigation in the last couple of days, um, looking in the areas that we had the high wet well, wet well alarms, trying to chase down uh, um, any uh, significant if they see if they could identify any areas of a significant increase in flows, and they haven't, they weren't able to discover any. Thanks. Any other questions? Moving on to correspondence. Uh, first item is Main DEP Facility Inspection Report, July 24, 2014. I'm pleased to report that we got another fav very favorable report as a result of the inspection Main DEP conducted on the 24th of July. Once again, I wanted to commend the staff for their efforts. If it wasn't for their efforts, um, we wouldn't be able, to, you know, we wouldn't be getting these type of uh, reports from DEP. Any questions about that at all? None. Uh, next item is 36 Arbor View, September 24, 2014. Attached the copy of the letter our insurance carrier sent to the homeowner denying their claim with regard to the sewer backup that occurred in their home on August 13th. And any questions about that? Nothing. We'll move on to the next item, which is the main pollutant discharge elimination system. We just received our preliminary draft permit. Um, I've been uh, going through the draft since since I got it. I, I got it just before the packet was sent out, and um, very minor revisions to to the the permit uh, has occurred. It, it, um, I'm, I'm very comfortable and very happy with, with the re the permit that I have uh, gone through and seen. So. Um. Mr. Chairman? Yes. Um, it just might be helpful for anyone who's viewing at home if the superintendent could give a quick explanation of what that permit is all about. I will, I will do that. Um, the main pollutant discharge elimination system um, permit is the permit that is, uh, that provides oversight to the uh, Scarborough Sanitary District with regard to the quality um, of the effluent that is uh, discharged into the Atlantic Ocean. Uh, they establish the various pollutant um, uh, parameters that, uh, that we need to meet, the level of uh, treatment that we need to meet uh, for the, uh, the treatment plant. and. Um, that permit is reviewed every five or renewed every five years, and we go through an application process. The actual, our actual application is currently available on our website. 
as well as here at the town hall and also up at the DEP offices in Augusta. Um, the, the permit, um, when they go, do, go through the review of the permit, they look at the receiving water bodies and uh, make sure that the, the discharge of the wastewater is not going to do, uh, have an impact on the uh, receiving water body, in, in our case here, the Atlantic Ocean. So um, in this review process that they conducted this, this past, uh, this time here, uh, basically has uh, maintained the level of um, treatment quality that we have to reach uh, consistent with our last permit. There's been no change. Thank you, Dave. Any other questions or comments about that? All right. We'll move on to old business. There is none this month. New business, the nine-month budget summary ending September 30th, 2014. Uh, a copy of the uh, budget summary is in your packet, and I recommend approval. Motion to approve, Mr. Chairman. Second. A motion and a second. Any questions about the budget summary? Rob? We're, st we're still in catch-up mode, right, versus our discussion from last month relative to the year-to-date versus the year-to-date actual, mm -hmm. because we have a couple of major items that are 100%. Mm -hmm. yeah. okay. Any other questions? Are none all in favor of approval? None opposed. Next is public comments. We have no public attending this evening, so we'll move on to trustee comments. And I'll start down to my left with Seth. Um, I just wanted to ask Dave again uh, for the upcoming budget workshop if we could talk about sort of long-term asset management planning again as one of the items because I think that's important for uh, you know framing the budget discussion. Will do. Yep. Thank you. Nick? No comment. No comment. Let's see. Mike. Uh, Dave? Uh, just thank the, Dave and the staff again for another well done from the DEP. Uh, <coughs> other than that, uh, good luck with the uh, upcoming election. And we'll go from that. Rob? Okay. Well, I want to reiterate once again thank you to uh, Dave and staff. They do a great job. It was, it was good to see them at the annual dinner. We had a good sh turnout that evening, and uh, I think everybody enjoyed it, and we, we once again really appreciate all the employees do for us, for the district, and uh, David has done a great job in the past year. I uh, want to wish everybody a happy whatever holiday coming up is, and uh, good luck to everybody in the upcoming lunch. Great. Charlie? Uh, also want to congratulate the superintendent and the staff on another very positive annual inspection report for Maine DEP and just comment that I think that the continued high level of performance that the DEP sees uh, at our facility, the performance by our employees, um, is an aid to the smooth <coughs> processing of permit renewals. If we if we had uh, troublesome operating records, I think we would see a much more contentious permit renewal process. But by um, setting the bar high in terms of regular performance, month after month after month, and year after year after year, uh, I think there's a sense of confidence that we professionally run and our staff is extremely confident and knows what they're doing and I think that makes the process a little bit smoother than it otherwise might be with regard to our permit renewals. I also want to remind folks to turn out to vote. Um, elections less than two weeks away and uh, um, that is it. Thank you. I guess that leaves me uh, again reiterate uh, the kudos to the staff uh, and thanks to everybody that turned out for the dinner. It was a great time, great to have some one-on-one -on -one time with each member of the staff uh, for those that were there and learn a little bit more about them and their loved ones and uh, what they do outside the district. Uh, 
So much appreciation to everybody that attended. Um, also, I'd like to reiterate, uh, make sure everybody gets out and vote at this upcoming election. And with that, I will recommend a motion for adjournment. So moved. Second. Second. All in favor? We're adjourned. Not, not a record.